Very good morning and welcome back. If you are a fan of Doctor Who, you probably have been on tense hooks for weeks now, but we do know who will be playing the next incarnation of the Time Lords. These are the faces that have helped make the show a family favourite for generations. Last night we found out who will be the twelfth actor to battle the Daleks and Cybermen on screen. Picking up the sonic screwdriver will be Peter Capaldi, best known for playing um, the man who swears a lot, Malcolm Tucker. <laughs> In the thick of it. I don't think he'll be doing that anymore. He'll be doing it on Doctor Who, I'm sure. No. <laughs> uh, Matt Smith has, of course, played the Doctor for four years, so will Peter Capaldi be able to fill those shoes? With us to discuss this is Cavan Scott, who's co author of the Whoology, morning, and uh, Sophie Aldred, I'm sure you recognise her, who played the Doctor's assistant uh, from 1987. We shouldn't really put a date on it, but no, 1989. No. <laughs> morning, both. Quite recently. Quite yeah, recently. Quite recently. Uh, thank you both. I think we're going to look. Are we going to look at a clip first, though? Uh, we're going to look at a clip of Peter Capaldi's first appearance when the current Doctor regenerates on Christmas Day. Um, this is a clip, but he has been in it before. It's so wonderful not to keep the secret any longer, <laughs> but it has been absolutely fantastic in, yeah. it, in its own way. I've, there, so many wonderful things have happened. Uh, for instance, um, uh, for a while I couldn't tell my daughter who would be looking on the internet and discovering that people were saying so-and-so should be Doctor Who and so-and-so should be Doctor Who and she was getting rather upset that they never mentioned me. <laughs> and I said, oh, don't just rise above it, darling, rise above it, darling, as I do. Uh, morning both, thank you very much. You both, did you both guess already that it was going to be Peter, did you? I didn't really know, but I hoped, because somebody of his stature and his sort of charisma and his standing it's perfect and a bit older as well you know which is a good contrast to Matt Smith mm -hmm. so all in all it's mm. just the perfect uh, choice a good choice and an excellent choice I mean, let's face it we've got a, one of Britain's best actors playing Britain's mm. best role you know um, and this is what makes Doctor Who exciting you miss the old Doctor you, you mourn the old Doctor going but the excitement's coming because there's a new Doctor now and we want to see what he's going to do differently um, and what he's going to be how he's going to be the same as well mm. we had a lot of uh, people responding to it of course and most of them say great exactly like you do a great actor and so on but somebody's Amanda said looks like a Doctor circa 1960s 70s I fear he'll be too old to appeal the younger viewers and suspect the BBC may see a drop in viewing figures can't have that no matter how how well he plays the part. Well, I think the thing about having an older doctor is you've still got your gorgeous Jenna Louise Coleman, and the the role of the assistant has always been sort of to uh, to to be with the audience, mm -hmm. so th that she will bring the audience along, and it's it's going to be great. You wait. I mean, it's the sort of role, isn't it, that um, I guess kind of never leaves you. It's like being in, in Bond, isn't Job it, for life. Job for life. <laughs> Here yeah. you are, still talking about <laughs> it and still loving it. Oh, I mean, it really was the most amazing thing to be cast in Doctor Who at a young age. And it's still with me, you know, on audio, on these big Finnish audios I do, I'm still playing a 16-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I see, don't mind. But uh, when you see Doctor Who now, do you think to yourself, mm, I'm not so sure about that, or do you a bit curmudgeonly about it, or you just, do, do you think the story or the line is developed well over the years? I think it's, it's been superbly handled, and it's partly the fans that have brought it back. You know, Russell T. Davis was a huge fan, uh, so that there's always an appeal to the fans, but an appeal to a new audience as well. And now we've got Peter Capaldi, who comes on last night, mm. fingering I his know. lapel, William which Hartnell. is what William Hartnell did. Oh, so really? I think that might have been a well, sneaky little nod to the fans, going, don't worry, it's in good yeah. hands, guys. Fascinating that Capaldi said that he'd um, played being Doctor Who uh, when he was nine years old in the playground. There's a lot of children do, of course. Exactly. Yeah, we all did. Exactly, did exactly. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So he's been sort of practising for the part for yeah. the past... Actually, and I think one thing that was years. interesting that he said to prepare himself for the role, he downloaded old scripts of the old Doctors yes. and performed them to himself. Again, to prove that it's the same character that's been going all these years. So it's, it's like David Tennant before him. You know, the people who are making Doctor Who now grew up with Doctor Who. It's part of their psyche. And I think we're going to see a lot of that in his performance. Um, it's interesting watching uh, Matt Smith as well, because Matt mm. Smith was obviously very pleased to hear that it was mm. Peter and sort of handing on the mantle as well, mm. wasn't he? Yeah, exactly. I mean... How great must it be? It must be very sad to give up the role, you know, and move away from it. Um, but exciting to hand over to someone who you know is that good, you know, mm. who you know is going to look after it um, and, and do great things. And I, I suspect now that Matt's probably become a fan. I mean, he said at the beginning he had to do a crash course in Doctor Who. He had never really seen Doctor Who. And Patrick Troughton soon became his favourite Doctor. Um, and I've got a feeling a lot of people are now going to have a new favourite Doctor. Sophie, there isn't a danger, though, even for the Capaldis of this world and so on, typecasting, that uh, it's, it's great to have been Doctor Who, but 
Can you ever escape it afterwards? Well, I just look at my doctor, Sylvester McCoy, who's now in The Hobbit, and I think, well, you know, it's, it can lead you onto great things as well, to amazing opportunities. Mm. It certainly has for me and for others of us, you know, it's a, it's a door really opening, a door opening rather than closing. Oh, and it does seem very much, I mean, Matt Smith brought so much to the role, didn't he, mm. of his own, kind of, his own personality, so Peter could possibly do that. What kind of doctor do you think he's going to be? We're not... This is the thing, we don't know. I would think that perhaps he might be a little bit more alien, a bit more in the Tom Baker vein. You know, you're not yes. quite sure about he him. Because he, he can be scary, can't Exactly. He? But at the same time, he's a brilliant comedian. I mean, he can do comedy very well. You saw him in The Lady Killers, didn't yeah. you? And, I and went he was to hilarious. the West End. My friend mm. was nearly sick because she was laughing at him so much. Yeah. Yeah. You don't think older people are going to watch it and expect the cursing to come back? Because <laughs> in the thick of it, Mr Capaldi hardly had a line that didn't have a No, no, I, I, I don't think that um, there is any swearing in the TARDIS, is there? Really? No, no. Strictly no swearing. Um, and it's the 50th anniversary. You were there. I, I shouldn't say this, really, but you, you remember I the 25th. Mind. Yes, I was there for the 25th anniversary. We were actually doing the show, and you couldn't even buy a Doctor Who mug at the time. And there's uh, so and much now. now isn't there? There's all this fantastic merchandising. It's wonderful. It's just, it's it's had a regeneration of its own mm. Doctor Who, which is. Marvellous. And, and, it, and, it, and it does play across the world. It's not just confined to this country. I mean, just, if you try to describe the formula to somebody, they would find it, they would have never seen it. They would find it Yes, you can go anywhere around. in space and time. You can have any actor playing it. You can, yes. have, uh, you can do anything. There is a technical hitch, though, isn't there? Because there, aren't there only meant to be 12? Well, there, you know, he's only supposed to regenerate 12 times. But, you know, he's a I time think lord. Stephen he can do Moffitt, lots of things. who's a very, very clever man, yes. can find some way of if we, getting it needs him be, out there of can, that. There can, there can be more. Oh, obviously. I mean, yeah, they, they gave, in the old series, they offered the master an entire new regenerative cycle. So they can, oh, if they can do it for the master, they yes. can do it for the doctor as well. well so we don't need to get can. too worried then. <laughs> no, I wouldn't be not worried at all. Gavin and Sophie, thank you both very, thank very you. much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And you can see uh, Peter Capaldi's first first appearance when the current doctor regenerates it's going to be an emotional day for some isn't it i think it is <laughs> um, he's going to regenerate on